Alright, welcome back to Genuine Tutorial and for today's video, we will going to discuss the first principal derivative. By the way, I am Sir Nathan and if you are new here in my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for you to be notified in our next video uploads. Okay, if you are not familiar with the first principal derivative, some people say it is also known as the definition 2.1 in this book. Okay, and this is also known as the long method derivative or the step first step rule derivative okay before we answer the exercise 2.1 we should understand first the first step rule okay for step rule given y given the equation y is equal to f of x or y is equal to function of x in step one okay function y is equal to function of x in step one find y plus delta y is equal to the function of x plus delta x this is simply a substitution by letting y is equal to y plus delta y and x is equal to x plus delta x it means na lahat ng x papalitan mo ng x plus delta x and lahat ng may y is papalitan mo ng y plus delta y commonly isang y lang naman yan but uh, sa part ng x is pwedeng marami or one or more okay so ganito lang yan using this uh, equation so lahat ng y magiging y plus delta y y plus delta y is equal to the function of lahat ng x is magiging x plus delta x. Okay. In step 2, transpose the y. Okay. Transpose y to the other side. So, when we transpose the y, since sa positive ito. Okay. When we transpose the y, okay, since positive ito, magiging negative siya. So, delta y. Delta y is equal to the function of x plus delta x. Okay. Minus y. So, dito na rin magagarap yung substitution, ano? Since ang y natin is equal to f of x. So, papalitan na rin natin yan. Okay? Take note that itong y dito, y is equal to y plus delta x, is only applicable in step number 1. Okay? Just to be clear. Okay, in step 3, divide both sides by delta x. So, division lang. Delta x. Okay, in step number 4, find the limit. Okay? Using the dy over dx or equal to f prime of x is equal to the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches to zero. So, kung makikita nyo, ano, delta y over delta x is equal dito. So, substitution na lang ulit. Ito yung isasub natin sa may limit. So, dy over dx or f prime of x is equal to the limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x as delta x approaches to zero. So, dito lang nakuha or ganitong process lang yung gagawin natin to solve uh, first principal derivative. Okay? Okay, since naintindihan na natin yung proseso ng uh, first step derivative or the first step rule, let's try exercise 2.1 number 1. In number 1, we have y is equal to 4x squared minus 5x. y is equal to 4x squared minus 5x. Okay, using the short method or by the use of the formulas, the answer must be y prime is equal to, okay, formula multiply by 2 is 8, 8x minus 5. Okay, ganito dapat yung magiging answer natin when we use the first step rule. Okay, in step number 1, find the y plus delta y is equal to the function of x plus delta x. Okay. Step 1 is by letting y is equal to y plus y prime and x is equal to x plus uh, delta x. I mean y plus delta x. Then. I'm sorry for that. So, the equation natin. So, y plus delta y is equal to 4. Multiply by yung x natin. Magiging x plus delta x. Okay. May exponent tayo na squared or 2 minus 5 multiplied by x which is x plus delta x. Okay, step number 2, transpose the y. So, delta y is equal to 4 multiplied by x plus delta x squared minus 5 multiplied by x plus delta x minus y where y is equal to 4x squared minus 5x. 4x squared minus 5x. Okay, 
Step number 3, divide both sides by delta x. So, delta x. Okay? Okay ba? Only tip for you kung kaya nyo simplify ito agad-agad in step number 3. Uh, you can simplify it para hindi na kayo mahirapan for the step number 4. Okay? Let's simplify this one. So, delta y over delta x is equal to okay, 4x squared. Okay, plus 4x. Actually, a formula private is 8x delta x plus a 4 delta x squared minus 5x minus 5 delta x minus 4x squared. Okay, negative, negative is positive. So, positive, okay, 5x. All over by delta x. So, cancellation, we have 4x squared. Negative, we have negative 5x and 5x. And then, yun lang. So, delta y over delta x is equal to okay, 8x delta x plus 4 delta x squared minus 5 delta x all over by delta x which is also equal to okay, factor out the delta x in each part nitong numerator natin. So, delta x so 8x okay, plus 4 delta x minus 5 all over by delta x. So, cancellation of delta x. It means na ang delta y over delta x natin is equal to 8x plus 4 delta x minus 5. So, 8x plus 4 delta x minus 5. Okay. Okay, the last and final step. Determine the limit. Okay, using the y prime of x is equal to the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches the zero. So, the limit of this one, 8x plus 4 delta x minus 5 as delta x approaches the zero. So, ang ibig sabihin lang nito ay sa substitute or ilalagay lang. Papalitan lang natin ng zero lahat ng delta x dito. So, f prime of x is equal to 8x, wala siyang, wala siyang delta x, plus 4 multiplied by delta x, so 0, minus 5, which is also equal to 8x minus 5. So, ito na yung answer. As you can see, pareho sila. At last, ito na yung end ng solution natin sa number 1, and hopefully, may naitindahan kayo kahit papano, and don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for you to be notified sa mga next uploads natin. Okay? So, goodbye.